Before you jump into the video, let me quickly tell you about our math video game called Mage Math and all the other cool activities on our website. Mage Math is a full video game that will help your child become more confident in math and have fun at the same time. On the website we have all our math videos, math worksheets, virtual math escape rooms, math mysteries, and more learning activities. You can find the game and all our amazing website content at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Hey there, thanks for joining us today. We could really use your help. As you can see, we are trying to get across this asteroid. Gig thought it would be fun to ride through this huge asteroid we are on, but it is getting a little dangerous. This is fun. <laughs> to get to the other side of this asteroid is about 84 miles, but at the rate we are going, we can only travel about 14 miles per hour to be safe. Our spaceship will leave in six and a half hours. Will we be able to make it in time? Who cares? This is fun. <laughs> Gig, I care. Please figure out if we will make it in time. Thanks, guys. Whoa, watch out. That was close. Today we will explore the topic of unit rate. A unit rate describes how many units of the first type of quantity corresponds to one unit of the second type of quantity. Let's look at an example. If three cans of soda cost $2.25, then the unit rate is blank. Remember, a unit rate is the rate or amount per one unit. So in this problem, one unit is one can of soda. We can write the ratio of $2.25 over three cans of soda. Notice we can divide $2.25 by three. This gives us 75 cents per one can. The unit rate is 75 cents per can. Let's look at this problem. If Chelsea bikes 25 miles every five hours, then how many miles will she bike after 10 hours? We can represent the number of miles biked in five hours with the ratio of 25 miles per five hours. Assuming she bikes at the same rate, we can determine how many miles she biked in 10 hours by setting our ratio equal to x miles over 10 hours. What do you notice about the relationship between 5 hours and 10 hours? 10 hours is twice as much as 5 hours. So if we multiply both the numerator and denominator by 2, we will have an equivalent fraction. 25 times 2 is 50, and 5 times 2 is 10. So we can see that Chelsea will bike 50 miles in 10 hours. Wow, that's a lot of biking. John paid $84 for 14 cupcakes. This is a rate of blank dollars per cupcake. Please type your answer as a whole number without a decimal. To find the unit rate or amount of money that John paid per cupcake, we will divide $84 by 14 cupcakes. 84 divided by 14 is 6. So John paid $6 per cupcake. Those are some pretty expensive cupcakes. If Sandra walks 12 miles every 10 hours, then her rate is blank miles per hour. Please type your answer as a decimal to the nearest tenths place. Well, 12 miles every 10 hours can be written as this ratio. We are asked to write the answer as a decimal. 12 divided by 10 is 1.2, and our units are miles per hour. Therefore, Sandra can walk 1.2 miles in one hour. We say her rate is 1.2 miles per hour. Great job.
Now that you know about unit rate, you can help us. If we need to go 84 miles and we are traveling 14 miles per hour, how many hours will it take us to go 84 miles? Why don't I give you a minute to pause the video and work this on your own? To find the answer, we need to divide 84 by 14. What is 84 divided by 14? The answer is 6. Great job! We will get there in 6 hours, which means we will make it just in time before the ship leaves. Thank you so much. See you guys at the ship! But I don't want to go. I want to stay. <laughs> Thank you for watching the video. To support me in making more videos, please check out my game Mage Math and the other cool content on my website. I know you will love the game and all the other fun activities for your kids. Please share the link below with teachers and friends. Your support helps me make more fun content for kids.